Hi, I'm Karen Woodard, a City Forester with Dallas Water Utilities Department, and you're about to hear a presentation on the Emerald Ash Borer, or EAB. EAB is an insect which burrows into ash trees, causing them to decay over time. This panel of environmental experts will explain more on what EAB is and how Dallas residents can spot and or report ash trees that have been infested with EAB. Presenting today are members of the City of Dallas Forestry Technical Team. The members are Brett Johnson, Senior Environmental Coordinator with Park and Recreation, Christopher Rasmussen, Public Works Forestry Manager, and Phil Irwin, Chief Arborist in Development Services. We want to emphasize the size of emerald ash borer by showing the image of the penny. The actual size is a half inch long and an eighth of an inch wide. The beetle is very small. There are many beetles of the same color that are much larger. The emerald ash borer is a destructive, non-native, wood-boring pest of ash trees. Native to Asia, the EAB was unknown in North America until its discovery in Southeast Michigan in 2002. All native ash species are susceptible to attack. Ash trees with low population densities of EAB often have few or no external symptoms of infestation. EAB is a significant threat to urban, suburban, and rural forests as it kills both healthy and stressed ash trees. EAB is very aggressive and ash trees may die within two to three years after becoming infested. This is where we're lucky. Dallas has a greater variety of tree species. Ash trees only make up a small percentage. This slide shows counties in Texas that are under quarantine from the Texas Department of Agriculture. We will now be showing pictures that will give you visual cues of infected trees. This is an eighth of an inch dome-shaped exit hole. Other borers have D-shaped but much larger exit holes. Thanks, Brett. Tunneling, called galleries, are described as S-shaped that will always be present. EAB are creamy white with flat, bell-shaped, segmented bodies. These photos show similar symptoms but one tree is EAB damaged and the other tree is from the last two winters. In Dallas, most of our older ash have been damaged by the freeze. The life cycle of the emerald ash borer. Females lay their eggs on the bark. After they hatch, the larvae bore into the tree right under the bark and may live there from one to two years before emerging. In Dallas, Weather and temperature determine the emergence of the beetles. How do I identify an ash tree? Ash trees have compound leaves with five to nine leaflets on each leaf with opposite branching. This means the branches and leaves are directly across from each other rather than staggered. This method can be used in the winter time when leaves are not present Possibly the easiest way to identify an ash tree is their distinct bark pattern. When ash trees are young, they have a smooth bark that grows into a diamond-shaped pattern. In Dallas, our main ash trees are green and white ash, but all ash are susceptible to EAB infestation. This next slide shows leaves and their seeds. Ash trees have a diamond-shaped bark pattern. Here's another photo showing the diamond-shaped pattern. Thank you, Christopher. Do you know what to do if you have an ash tree, don't know if you have an ash tree, or if EAB is present? Contact an ISA certified arborist that you can find at treesaregood.org. You can search the website by county city, or zip code. If a tree needs to be removed, we highly recommend replacing it with a native species. You can research native trees by visiting the Texas Forest Service Tree ID website. Also, Dallas homeowners can receive a free tree from the Branch Out Dallas annual tree giveaway. The City of Dallas offers tree planting programs. They are Dallas Reforestation Program, which provides trees to neighborhoods and individuals to plant on the street or in the median. 
Branch Out Dallas provides free trees to homeowners. And Branching Out Dallas, which is park and recreation tree plantings. There's a minimum of 12 parks picked per year. The City of Dallas can be found online or email us at codforestry at dallascityhall.com. What is quarantine? The Texas Department of Agriculture is the regulatory agency for EAB and has implemented a quarantine for Dallas County. As part of the quarantine, no untreated wood, wood debris, or hardwood firewood can be moved outside the quarantine area or areas. This is the primary culprit in movement of EAB into new areas. What is woody debris? All large or small untreated wood, including but not limited to branches, stumps, chips larger than an inch, and logs from dead or alive trees. Also, nursery stock. No ash tree nursery stock can be moved from EAB quarantine area unless under a compliance agreement with Texas Department of Agriculture. The TDA website offers acceptable wood treatments that you can check out. Thank you, Karen. What is the city doing? Well, we're doing ongoing social media marketing. The development of social media information videos are being posted on a website and YouTube. And we're conducting multiple civic group presentations monthly. Treatment is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. And we're working with the Texas A&M Forest Service and contracted licensed applicators. For removals, we're taking out infected ash trees which are not treatable or are a public safety issue. We have tree planting programs which are conducted by branching out park plantings, Dallas reforestation street and median trees, and branch out Dallas tree giveaways for homeowners. Here are some of our marketing examples. And here are our tree planting programs, including branching out Dallas and Dallas reforestation. The tree keeper inventory system is what we are using both for a total tree inventory, but also to track which ash trees are being treated or removed. You can go to dallastx.treekeeper software and see where we are if there is an ash tree close to you that is infected or being treated, or if you just want to check out what trees are around you. And here are important websites. If you have any questions, you can email us at codforestry at dallascityhall.com. Thanks, Phil. We hope this presentation helped you understand more about EAB. Again, if you have any questions for the forestry technical team, please contact us by emailing codforestry at dallascityhall.com. Thank you.